13 minutes to 8 as you wake up with Damo here on 4WK. Time for our History Out There segment where we like to uh, give you some local history each and every week. We do that with Harold Peacock who's got a fantastic story today and I'm very pleased to say he is uh, joining me today from a very balmy, sunny, beautiful, uh, is it Townsville? Yes, I'm up in Townsville. Always looking for some stories for you, but... uh Gee, I've got that one straight from Warwick that's a little bit different, and it's not all that balmy no. uh, this story. <laughs> oh, fair enough. All right, we're, we're going 123 years back in time. Uh, and, Harold, what is this story that affected Warwick? Yeah, in 1901, it was a really strange phenomenon that happened when showers of fish fell on Warwick. Thousands of live fish. Now, that's it's not unique uh, for that to happen even far from the sea because, like, in 1924, fish rained in Longreach after travelling 800 kilometres. Mm. In 1936, it rained fish in Cloncurry, having travelled over 600 kilometres. And in France, it's been reported to have rained frogs. And in Norway, it's rained rats. But the fish that rained on Warwick in 1901 weren't any ordinary fish. You oh. see, they appear to have been cursed. Now, the shower of fish took place on Mr. Arthur Boyce's farm in Campbell's Gully outside of Warwick. Now, acres and acres were covered with the fish, and many of them were fully an inch long, and they were flapping about. Arthur Boyce was a brother of Councillor Frederick Boyce, who was chairman of the Rosenthal Shire Council for nine years. But what was remarkable about Arthur wasn't his brother, but actually the way that Arthur died after he was covered with the fish. Arthur met his death in a fearful manner on the railway outside of Warwick while crossing through a train it started to move. Arthur fell but managed to hang on for some time. Eventually, he went under the wheels and was killed. The body, look, uh, sorry for this, but when it was picked up hours later, it was horribly mutilated after several trains had passed back and forth over the remains. Now, the curse of the raining fish had begun. Now, the fish storm of 1901 also fell on the property of Mr. Andrew Margetts of Henley near Warwick. His place was also covered with thousands of live fish. They fell during the storm at night and looked like brim fry. Now, the ground for acres was covered with them and it happened over three kilometres from the Condamine River. Now, Andrew was a surveyor and son of Warwick's Dr. Frederick Margetts, whose consulting rooms were on the corner of Albion and Fitzroy Streets. The doctor's career began after he commissioned, or he received a commission to the old East India Company and he started a seafaring life. But that doesn't mean his family had an affinity with the sea or the fish in them. And it's others in the Margetts family and those around them who have suffered from the curse of the reigning fish. You see, Arthur's brother was Albert Margetts. He appeared in Warwick Courthouse a number of times, including one time when he and his arch nemesis allegedly threatened to burn down each other's house, car and everything. Another of Andrew's brothers was a well-known Toowoomba dentist, Thomas Margetts. He spent time in Brisbane's Bogger Road Jail for failing to pay his wife alimony. He also knocked down and killed a woman while driving his car in Ruthman Street. And he later died after collapsing in a barber's shop. And the father-in-law of Andrew's daughter was Captain Claudius Wish. Now, he was a member of the Queen's Elizabeth Council and son of General Sir William Wish of the Royal Artillery. Captain Wish and his wife were among the 134 people who were tragically killed in the sinking of the Quetta in the Torres Strait. It remains the worst peacetime maritime disaster in Queensland's history. I was, I was at the Quetta Memorial Church at Thursday Island last year and the Margetts parents-in-law are commemorated the marble plaque there. But back to Arthur Boyce, whose farm was covered in raining fish. When he went out on a survey party with Andrew Margetts, his property was also covered with fish. Well, he was doubly doomed. You see, an axe came down on Arthur's foot with full force. He then had to endure an excruciating nine-hour journey by wagonette back into Warwick. He suffered a great deal of pain, lost a large amount of blood, and no doubt never wanted to see a fish again. But it didn't do him any good, Damo, because, of course, like I said, the trains got him and the fish curse got him in the end. Oh, I'll tell you what. 
you wouldn't, as you said, you wouldn't want to see another fish for as long as you live. Yeah, that's right. And the boys and markets family, I'm sure even to this day, they don't eat some too much seafood. Oh, dear me. I've never heard of raining fish before. Yeah, well, if you go to France, they're frogs, of course. But yeah, it's, they're, they're sucked up in a in, in a in a in a you know provided by the wind, and they're carried well hundreds of kilometres and drop, and they live. They're still alive. Wow! Uh, in the in the air in the rain clouds, and when they're dropped, they're just flopping about on the ground. It's, um, it would be an amazing sight. I'm never going to look at Sharknado in the same way again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's right. But just as long as they fall on someone else's house, not yours, because <laughs> yeah. they fall on yours. Uh, it, it could mean, uh, you know, some trouble down the track. Please. All sorts of bad luck coming your way, that's for sure. Oh, dear. Another great story, Harold. Now, of course, uh, you're going to be posting that up on your website? Yes. Uh, next morning, always on historyoutthere.com online. You can go to all the socials to get links uh, to the website as well. All right, fantastic. Historyoutthere.com, and you can read that story and many others. Uh, Harold, always good to catch up. Look forward to our story next week. Oh, it's, again, it's another good one. It'll surprise you as well. I look forward to it. You have a great week, mate. Thank you. You too. There we go. Harold uh, Peacock, and uh, check it all out on historyoutthere.com. Uh, we'll take a break. Back with more in a moment.